In 1992, countries, also known as parties, adopted a landmark international treaty known as the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The UNFCCC facilitates and supports international cooperation in global efforts to combat climate change. To foster transparency, trust and confidence and promote climate actions, parties put in place arrangements for measurement, reporting and verification. So what is MRV? Parties put together information on their greenhouse gas emissions, actions planned or undertaken, constraints and gaps, and any support needed and received. This information becomes the basis for two kinds of reports that developing countries prepare and submit, national communications and biennial update reports, also known as BURs. Developing countries can access support for their BURs. Zebu, our fictitious country, is here to help explain the entirety of MRV arrangements for developing countries. Zebu wants to prepare a BUR, but since this is the first time, it needs a bit of help. Support and capacity building is available for Zebu. So Zebu prepares a project proposal to seek funding from the Global Environment Facility and receives 352,000 US dollars. Zebu then forms teams of national experts and stakeholders that will prepare different parts of the report. Payments for the results of Red Plus actions can only be requested if countries report them in their BUR. Zebu then compiles its BUR according to the BUR guidelines. Zebu is now ready for the final phase of MRV. Submitted BURs undergo a transparent two-step verification process called International Consultation and Analysis, also known as ICA. When Zebu submits the BUR, it undergoes a technical analysis, which is step one of the ICA. Technical analysis simply means that a team of technical experts analyzes the report and identifies Zebu's capacity building needs. Within three months after the BUR is analyzed, the TTE writes a draft summary report which Zebu reviews and comments on. The TTE then incorporates Zebu's comments and together they finalize the summary report for publication. While these reports are helpful tools for following a country's progress, to ensure success, the UNFCCC envisioned a platform to bring countries together in a shared learning process called the Facilitative Sharing of Views, which is step two of the ICA. During the FSV, each party presents the summary of their BURs and other countries can ask questions. The ICA is a way for all countries to continuously reaffirm their commitment towards effective implementation of the Convention. It's also a way for the UNFCCC to bring countries together to foster collaboration and orchestrate support for the important efforts of each developing country and its unique needs. Climate change is simply the greatest collective challenge we face as a human family. We welcome all of you to the first facilitative sharing of views and look forward to working together to reach our collective goals.